Well, good morning. Uh, my name is Lee Anderson, and uh, this morning we're going to talk a, lot, a little bit about the restoration of cicada. Uh, as you know, uh, I signed a 10-year lease on this boat in uh, 2009. It's taken us um, three years uh, to really get her back on the water, but it's absolutely in 100-point condition now. We did many, many things. I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. Uh, to start with, the boat was uh, completely stripped, uh, both of stain and finish. Uh, the inside was completely uh, sanded out and, and uh, repainted. Uh, the engine, as you'll recall, it's a 500 horsepower uh, Liberty V12. Uh, when we got it, it had a, uh, a rod through the block. Uh, not only that, but the camshaft was broken, the cam housings were broken. Very difficult to find a left-handed uh, cam these days for 500, because there weren't that many 500s that were actually put together. We did find one on the west coast, very fortunate. Otherwise, we would have had to regrind one. Uh, we uh, had the engine done probably in uh, two years. It's got a completely uh, new uh, exhaust system on it. it runs like a top, absolutely runs perfectly. Uh, we had it out yesterday and uh, it's uh, going to between, uh, I'd say around 55 miles an hour at about 1700. Like every Liberty uh, engine, uh, this engine has a sweet spot at 1400 RPM. I'd say you're going about 42 or 43 miles an hour and uh, everything settles down, absolutely no vibration. Um, as I said, we did the complete refinish job and that includes the seams. The seams are all straight and perfect. We re-chromed many of the items on the on the boat. We didn't get a, uh, a stern pole or a bow pole with it, so we've uh, provided those with it. The top is as it was in the upholstery. The upholstery was in, in great shape. Now, you'll remember I think if you followed Garwoods at all, 1928, uh, they went to an additional plank. So that increased the, uh, the freeboard on the boat, also made it a bigger boat, made it eight inches wider at the widest point. So this boat is uh, quite a bit bigger than our others. Uh, I happen to own three of the existing eight um, Baby Gar 33 footers. and. Uh, uh, Miss Jenny, which was built in 1924, uh, Sea Wolf uh, was built in 1926, and uh, Johnny Johnson IV that was built in 1925, and of course Cicada was built in 1928. So we pretty much cover the, uh, the gamut here. I, I love baby gars, absolutely. I think they're the most beautiful boat on the water. And uh, the long run when it comes back to the uh, museum, uh, they can choose to put it on display or uh, use it for rides, whatever. I uh, have no fear that it'll run flawlessly uh, from here on out. Uh, oh, I'd like to also add that uh, we changed the, the fuel system and the fuel tank, which had been welded so many times we just couldn't keep it uh, from, from leaking. Uh, the gearbox, uh, we were going to put a uh, newer uh, model uh, uh, gearbox in there but then uh, elected not to so it has the original gearbox but it's been all reconstructed with all new um, disc plates and so forth it has the original um, Garwood uh, transmission which had to be completely rebuilt as well found in and completely rewired the boat I might add so as you can see I, I've named just about everything um, it uh, that needed to be done. I've enjoyed the, the restoration of this boat. It's, it's been, been a lot of fun.